Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm David with Softron. Now today we have the X Max Studio from Sonic here, but this is a little bit special because this is the new DV model. Now why this module is important is because it actually has two Thunderbolt ports connecting to different video cards. Now other models have only one Thunderbolt connected to multiple cards. And the problem is you can run into bandwidth limitations, but this new model allows you to have two different PCI slots connected via two different Thunderbolt cables. So let's take a look. I'm gonna to put together the Mac Studio inside of this, and then we're gonna put a video card, uh, two video cards inside as well. So first off, we have these screws right here, very easy to take off. Okay, so that's gonna allow us to remove this front plate. And we need that because we're going to put the Mac Studio inside. So let's put that aside for now. I'm gonna grab my Mac Studio. All right, and it's just gonna slide here through the front. Okay, that's secure in there. Now, it's kind of cool to see how this is working because there is a power button right here. So let me turn it around. And you can see when you're hitting that power button, there's actually a mechanism back here that will hit that power button for you. And we're gonna put the face plate, face plate back on. And granted, I'm doing this backwards. So it shows you how easy it is to put together. And I've never done this before, so you can see it's it's pretty simple. Uh, Sonnet did a good job putting these together. Uh, I like these new Duomoto modules. If you don't know, these the, the Echo 2 DV is a module, which means you can actually swap it out for different modules if you wanted to. So if you do have something like the uh, Echo 1 or Echo 3, you can actually just buy just the Echo 2 DV module, you wouldn't have to replace the entire piece. Um, that, that's why I think these are pretty cool versus um, something like the X Mac Mini Studio was built only for the Mac Mini and only had what it had inside. This one, you know, change it if you need to. Oops. All right, this one without seeing. Somewhere down there. I'm gonna guess right there. Ah, that's 10 points for me. Okay. So our Mac Studio is inside. Now, the DV module itself, let's take that out. I'm gonna show you. I'll turn it around again. And we have these three silver screws. And that is what's keeping the module in. And actually, if you see, this is what I'm talking about. We have the different, the two different Thunderbolt slots here. So that's how we're getting that double the bandwidth. So you'll have two Thunderbolt cables, which is also supplied by Sonnet. Uh, those two Thunderbolt cables going to your Mac Studio. Okay, let's turn this around. Okay, so now we can just take this module out. I can just push on the back, push it forward. And now it's moving. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna move this aside for a moment so you can see inside. So here's that Echo 2 DV up close. We have the two fans up here. We have the two different cables because these are two different PCI expansion slots like I mentioned, and those are the areas for the PCI cards. And if we look on the back, so there you can see it those Thunderbolt ports, and it is labeled as far as which one goes to the computer and which one is going to be uh, an added peripheral. Now, if you're talking about broadcast video, you really don't want something daisy chained to your video card because that's gonna take away the bandwidth. So for this application, I wanna use that peripheral device. You just wanna have your video card going straight to your Mac Studio. All right, I have two different video cards I'm going to install. The first one is the DeltaCast 12G4C. This is the one we offer with the M8 bundle. And so I'm gonna put this in there. Oh, 
as in any PCI slot, what's the first thing you have to do? You have to remove the covers. So let me get a screwdriver. Okay, so it's much easier to put a video card in when you have a screwdriver to remove the PCI cover. <laughs> Yikes. So let's take this out. All right, so I've removed the PCI covers and now I'm going to install my DeltaCast 12G 4C. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. And it goes in well, show you one more. So, it's just a little hard to do backwards, but I'll bring it closer to you so you can see where I'm going. So that feels good. You can see it's installed there. And now I'm gonna get a DeckLink 8K Pro. I'm gonna put that on the bottom slot. Maybe I'll do it like that so it's a little easier to see for both parties. Right about there. There we go. All right. So there's our two video cards. Again, the, uh, the DeltaCast 12G and the DeckLink 8K Pro. This time you're gonna see it from the back. I'm gonna put this in here. We go. And so we'll just put those screws back on. Okay. Now, before I put this back up and run the cables, one thing I wanted to show was here, this little grill. And so this is allowing cables to go through. So you can have storage underneath your Mac Studio. And so if you had something like a little uh, NVM SSD inside, or maybe just a simple little SSD device, external device, you could put it under there and then you can run those cables through and then kind of pin them down so they're not gonna be going anywhere. And so you're still gonna have the power for your Mac Studio, and then we're gonna have the power for the PCI slots as well. All right, so for cabling this up, like I said, the Sonnet does include the two Thunderbolt 3 cables for this model, and I like it actually has these little thumb screws. And the one we wanna plug into is right here. You can see it's a sign of the computer. So I'm gonna do this backwards. If I can pull this off. I'm gonna win another 10 points here. I'm so close, aha! Usually that part's not difficult, but I am doing it backwards and looking in a mirrored image, so. Sorry, everyone. Okay, so that's screwed in. And now I can just run these Thunderbolt cables over here to, over there, to the Mac Studio. Again, doing it backwards. All right, run my power. Now I am running my power across the desk. Obviously, that's not how it would look in a rack. And, you know, bear with me here, folks. But it does have the rack ears. It does have the extendable back uh, rack depth arms. And I believe that goes up to 24 inches. I'll double check myself, put a graphic if I'm wrong. That is installed. Then I need my power cable here for the Sonnet chassis. Also misplaced that. All right, now I'm gonna plug in the Sonnet chassis. Let's turn it on. So I can hear the cards running now. I'm gonna turn it around gently so I don't scratch up my desk here. So we have our Mac Studio, which we can see here. We still have access to those two front. Uh, now this is the Mac Studio Max, which means those are the two front ones are USB-C, but with the Mac Studio Ultra, those two would also be Thunderbolt. Uh, and then we have the SD reader there, and we see the two lights here indicating there is a connection there. So that's awesome. Let me get a monitor set up so I can see what I'm doing. All right, hooking up my monitor. I just realized I don't have a mouse and keyboard. Hmm. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, so we have the studio display hooked up to the Mac Studio, and I have my two Thunderbolts going into the video cards, and so we have eight connections on the DeltaCast and four on the DeckLink 8K Pro. And we can see that the video is coming in. I'm getting that uh, on my movie recorder screen right here. Now, it's important to know that the two cards still are hooked up by a Thunderbolt cable, as I've shown, and that Thunderbolt cable limit still applies in this scenario. So that two channels of 4K60 still counts per card. So you wouldn't get the full four channels of 4K60. However, in this new form factor, it's nice that you can have those two cards have the two Thunderbolt cables and you can get the four channels of 4K60 inside of this three rack unit. So I think this is gonna be a great option for a, a lot of broadcasters uh, because when I had set up with the Mac Studio Ultra, I had five Sonnet chassis, the desktop mount version. And so that that it's quite a large setup, but I did have 10 channels of 4K60 and we know the machine can do it. So I think this setup is really nice with these modules because then we can have two cards inside of here, hook it up to your studio, and you're gonna get that uh, bandwidth you know, to get the multiple channels of 4K60. So I really like what they've done with this. Like I said, uh, they have the USB slots uh, up front. They have the under storage for the SSD. Uh, the power button, I think they did a good job on this model because it has a good spring on it. Um, it's very easy. You saw me put it all together backwards and looking at a mirrored image. Um, I really like it. It's it's quiet. Um, it's definitely solid. It's it's a little bit heavy, but of course, you know, it's it's got to protect it. Um, but I think they did a great job putting this together, and I think a lot of people will be really happy with it, and I'm very happy with it. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as we show more features of our products or we show features like this from Sonnet. And you can always reach out to us at softchime.tv. Thanks for watching.